so the other day, Jim Acosta shouted a question at Donald Trump during the Easter egg roll event that he was doing with the kids. Now, Trump made that event deeply political, so Acosta was within his rights to ask him what I think is a perfectly normal question that was in the news that day. Let's watch. The Democrats have really let them down. They've really let them down. They had this great opportunity. The Democrats have really let them down. It's a shame. And now people are taking advantage of DACA, and that's a shame. Now, look, it's hard to hear him. Um, the president has a mic. In that case, Acosta does not have a mic that you can hear. And he did shout it uh, from behind, and the president was able to hear it. So I'm giving you all of the context here. But did it seem like he was screaming or doing anything outrageous? No, it certainly didn't seem that way. It seemed like he was asking the president a question, which is what it is the job of a reporter. But Howard Kurtz, who is the so-called media analyst at Fox News, after being fired by CNN, who is the current employer of Jim Acosta, has decided that he's gonna take on CNN and Acosta and say that this was terribly rude. Before we go to Kurtz though, understand get where he gets his marching orders. Media reports Trump's campaign manager, Brad Parskell, called for Acosta to have his press credentials revoked. How dare you ask the president a perfectly normal question about DACA, which he by the way answered, we should get rid of your press credentials. So if the president's team is saying that, well, here comes Fox News and Howard Kurtz. Yeah, you know, I'm all for shouted questions, but Jim Acosta clearly crossed a line by doing it in this setting with a bunch of children surrounding the president. He did get an answer, which is why reporters do it. You're not for shouted questions. You've said over and over again, and to be fair to Howard Kurtz, and he said it later in that segment, he said he was against shouted questions for Obama too. No, you're for compliance, Howard. <laughs> you know, you complied with uh, who, whoever was in charge of CNN at the time, and you generally supported the establishment media. Then conveniently, when you go over to Fox News, all of a sudden, all the conservatives are right, and the conservative media is right. You can ne never criticize, of course, Fox News itself, and all of a sudden, you're attacking CNN and other places. And just be honest about it. To say that uh, you're all for shouted questions, but it wasn't the right context. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you're talking about context? So let me show you what Donald Trump said earlier to the kids, to the kids who would come for the Easter egg roll. Out of nowhere, he started giving this political speech. This is a special year. Uh, our country is doing great. You look at the economy, you look at what's happening. Nothing's ever easy, but we have never had an economy like we have right now. And we're gonna make it bigger and better and stronger. Our military is now at a level, will soon be at a level that it's never been before. It's, uh, you see what's happening, and you see what's happening with funding. The funding of our military was so important, and so many military people are with us today. So just think of $700 billion, because that's all going into our military this year. Okay, I have to confess, we added the zoom into the Easter Bunny. Um, so. The kids are trying to find the Easter eggs, and he's like, the economy's booming, the economy's fantastic, and the military, the military's great. Why are you talking about the military to the kids? In that context, is it okay for Acosta to ask a political question? Of course. First of all, it's, I think, okay in almost any context to ask the president a question if you're a real reporter, uh, let alone in the context where he made it deeply political. Also, I'd like to note for the record, free Melania. Uh, now, uh, we go on to more of Howard Kurtz's uh, so-called media analysis. Watch. But it's no accident that Acosta did this on DACA, an issue in which he is clearly an advocate. Quick example, last year, White House briefing with Stephen Miller Acosta. What the president is proposing does not sound like it's in keeping with American tradition when it comes to immigration. The Statue of Liberty says, give me your tired, your poor. You're bringing a press one for English philosophy to immigration. That's never been what the US has been about. Now, does that sound like a journalist questions or an activist engaging in debate? No, it sounds like a question. Um, most people are familiar with what's on the Statue of Liberty. I'm not sure that Donald Trump is, so um, explaining to him what's on the Statue of Liberty and saying, are you in favor of it or against it? I mean, that should be a super easy question. In the case of Donald Trump, not so easy uh, because he's not in favor of what's on the Statue of Liberty. But man, the conservatives love to cry and cry about really simple questions. Remember when Sarah Palin said uh, that when 
Katie Kirk asked her, what papers do you read? She thought that was a gotcha question. So uh, here's Howard Kurtz again, how dare you ask a question? If you ask a question that Kurtz interprets as being opposing Donald Trump, by the way, what are you supposed to do? Ask the president questions where you agree with him and only questions where you agree with him? What kind of sense does that make? And look, we've been enormously consistent about this. We held Obama accountable over and over and we thought that he should have been asked a lot more questions about the lack of wage growth in the country. We had great unemployment numbers, but we did not have very good wage growth. The drone strikes on and on and on. But if if I had Obama in a room, I'm not gonna just ask him questions about what I agree with him on. I'm gonna ask him about what I disagree with him on. That's what a reporter's supposed to do, but not in Howard Kurtz's view. And Howard Kurtz's view is you appease power. And so now Donald Trump's in power and Fox News is paying Howard Kurtz. So, oh my God, asking questions where you, where it seems like you're challenging the president. What are you supposed to do, not challenge him? That's not journalism. But Kurtz has never known that and it's hilarious that he's the guy who's supposed to be holding journalists accountable. All right, and finally, a veiled threat to CNN. CNN, I have to assume, must be happy with the job that Acosta is doing because this sort of thing has come up again and again and he doesn't seem to be reined in by the network at all. Yeah. In other words, so oh, why aren't you firing him? The conservatives are very mad, the Trump administration is mad. Now, CNN, you must be aware that you have a reporter actually doing his job. Why is he still on the air? Howard Kurtz is just here to ask questions. This is the guy holding the media accountable, hilarious. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, the home of the revolution. If you'd like to get the full show, come join us and become a member. TYTNetwork.com slash join.